Hey everyone, it's Nicole here today with a couple of Ice Cream You Scream cards featuring Lawn Fawn stamps and dies. These are mostly die cut cards with just a few little stamping things here and there, but the main emphasis for both of these cards is that Ice Cream You Scream die collection, and I'm going to show you how fun it is to create some cards with these. I'm going to start with these rectangles that I've die cut from Mermaid cardstock using the Lawn Fawn outside in stitched rectangles dies. This is going to be slightly smaller than A2 sized. To instantly add a mat to this without actually having to mat this background on another piece of paper, I am masking off from the outside edge of that to or from the stitch line to the outside edge of the rectangle, and then I'm using my Misty with the foam insert removed to stamp mermaid ink on the mermaid cardstock for a tone on tone gingham background using the Simon Says Stamp gingham background stamp. I love ba gingham backgrounds and creating your own are so easy with a background stamp. So I'm actually gonna do this for both backgrounds for both of the cards. It's a little dark right now, but as that ink dries, it mutes a little bit more, so it's a little bit softer, which I really like. Off camera, I did die cut the components from the Ice Cream You Scream die collection to save some time. And then I'm going to simply be adding some detail to these with Distress inks. These are the regular Distress inks and not Distress Oxides. I, the first card is going to feature um, popsicles. And what's awesome about this is that there's these little line pieces that you can put on top of the popsicle if you want to. You definitely don't have to if you don't want to. But it gives that illusion of, a little bit more of that illusion of a popsicle, which I really like. I did tone on tone, but you could do two different colors if you want to however you want to do that. Then there is another die piece that's the popsicle stick. And this is die cut from paper bag Lawn Fawn cardstock. This light pink color I am using is Lawn Fawn ballet slippers. This pink that I'm using here is actually Gina K passionate pink. I really love this. I was going for kind of a bright whimsical, um, summertime feel, I think, with these cards as we're um, kind of starting in the last few weeks of summertime. I know lots of people, including myself, our kids have gone back to school, but we still have several weeks, le warm weather weeks left for sure. And so I thought these would be fun, treat-filled cards to create that really work for a lot of different occasions with the sentiment I'm going to be using. And I'm going to do a border across the center of each card, whether it be the ice cream cones or ice cream uh, or the popsicles, rather. So both are about the same. The only difference is for the popsicles, I could fit five across pretty easily. There's also this great little die. So if you want to take a little bite out of whether it be the ice cream or the popsicle, you can do that really easily. I used Picked Raspberry Distress ink to add detail to that second popsicle. And for the popsicle sticks, I'm using gathered twigs. This 1 8 inch score tape, I absolutely love. It's great for the little lines on the popsicle. It's great for the popsicle sticks. And we are gonna just pop these in place. You can see that the background gingham ink or gingham pattern, the ink I used for that, is starting to fade a little bit as it's absorbed into the paper. Carved pumpkin distress ink was used for this, this, pardon me, orange popsicle. This is Gina K Sweet Mango cardstock. This is probably one of my favorite orange colors of cardstock. I really love this. And I real, since I'm doing five across, this one really needs to be in the center. And I'm already seeing that I probably started a little too far in. So I'm probably gonna have to adjust a little bit. This is some yellow cardstock from Simon Says Stamp that I'm gonna ink with squeezed lemonade. I believe this is banana cardstock. 
Again, just adding the, that detail to these. And I'm gonna move over my popsicles a little bit. I luckily was able to do that fairly easily without ruining my card. My final popsicle for this card is going to be out of Simon Says Stamp Lavender cardstock. inked up with a little shaded lilac distress ink. And the distress ink is just gonna give a little depth and dimension. It's all tone on tone. I definitely didn't wanna add a different color, but simply add a little more depth and dimension to my die cuts. If you guys follow me already, you probably know I really love die cutting. I love um, the challenge of creating a card from die cuts. There are so many amazing die cuts out there nowadays that you can really create some fantastic designs um, almost without stamps. And a lot of times I will do cards completely out of die cuts. And this is one that is, all, like I mentioned earlier, almost completely out of die cuts, but has that great stamped background if you don't want to stamp, grab some gingham pattern paper and use that instead. Let's add our popsicle sticks to the remaining popsicles. I purposely put one upside down because I feel like that adds a little interest and fun to the design, um, especially with that little bite out of it. And now I want to layer my sentiments over the center of the design. We also want to attach this panel to a side fold card base. So I'll go ahead and do that. It's got a nice little white border all the way around. This label is from the Lawn Fawn Just For You Labels stamp set. I'm going to stamp the label on Lawn Fawn Vellum with their new clear embossing ink. And then we're going to stamp greetings from the Sweetest Flavor stamp set so that it reads, of all the flavors, you're the sweetest. And I'm gonna stamp these one line at a time so that I can get them closer than I could if I tried to pick up all three lines of text with my acrylic block and stamp them in this label. Both cards are gonna feature the exact same sentiment, the exact same stamped background. The only difference between the two cards are the dies I use to embellish that panel. Once I have this stamped and Lawn Fawn white embossing powder sprinkled over this, I'm going to heat set it and then die cut it with the coordinating just for you label. The easiest way I found to attach these labels to a card because it's made out of vellum and I didn't want to put any liquid adhesive is to run it through a Xyron sticker maker. That's gonna put a nice layer of adhesive, clear adhesive, all over the back. Now I did pop this in place and after I did it, I realized I really wanted to add some additional embellishment to my card and I was able to carefully peel this off and then put it back once the Nuvo Crystal Drops I used dried. I started off by taking gloss white Nuvo Crystal Drops and embellishing the sides of the label. Kind of almost like little brads, um, the look of little brads holding that in place. Then I took Nuvo Crystal Drops in similar colors to the cardstock colors that I used for my popsicles and made little drops all over the card. I thought almost like little popsicle, you know, as it melts and drips all over, that was kind of my thought. Plus it adds a nice, fun little embellishment. We've got um, bubblegum blush, carnation pink, ripened pumpkin, dandelion yellow, and sweet lilac are the colors of Nuvo Crystal Drops I used for this card. Then I decided I thought it would be really great to add sparkle to the little lines on the popsicle to draw your eye into that even a little bit more. So I'm gonna take Nuvo Crystal Drops in White Blizzard, which is a clear iridescent, and apply that over those little areas on each popsicle. But I need to remove that label first. I thought about trying to just go around it and I was really afraid that it would be super noticeable and I'm glad that I removed the label, added that product, let it dry completely, and then went back and put the label back in place because I think it really looks a lot nicer that way. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do this light pink one first. And as this dries, it's going to dry completely clear and just have a great iridescent finish. So here I'm going to carefully peel that up and just set it to the side while I add my Nouveau Crystal Drops to each of these popsicle sticks. I would let this dry for a good hour to an hour and a half or so before you try to put your label back in place. It looks a little bit milky, especially on the, the darker colors. You can definitely notice that. When it's dry, it's going to dry completely clear and just be an iridescent sparkle. I've used so much of this, I really probably need a new bottle of this product because it's definitely probably my very favorite next to gloss white. Once I have this one done and set aside to dry, I am going to grab my other die cut pieces, my ice cream cones, and for these, there is a great little die you can use to make it look like there's toppings on all of these little ice cream cones or sundaes or whatever you want to call them. And so for the original ice cream, I'm using Simon Says Stamp Off-White or Off-Cream, Cream Off, the exact color is listed and linked below here. And then I am using Chocolate Bar from Lawn Fawn and I'm simply die cutting the colorful cardstock then to look like toppings on each of these ice cream cones. Each one, again, I'm adding depth and dimension with Distress inks. So for the ice cream cones, whichever style you're using, I used Gathered Twigs. These were all die cut from paper bag cardstock. Because these are a little bit larger than the popsicles, I chose to only do four of these across my card instead of the five popsicles I did. I, I laid it out thinking maybe I could do five and it just squished it too much and I didn't like how it looked. So I ended up with four and I think that looks a lot better. Just like the popsicle card, one of these is gonna be upside down, adds just a fun little decorative um, touch, a lot of interest. I decided to put cherries on a couple of the ice cream cones. And then instead of doing it on all three ice cream cones that are standing upright, I did two of them. And then I put two ch extra cherries down near the base. Adds a nice little pop of color, a little bit of interest, almost like you you're in the middle of creating these ice cream cones and these are the extra cherries. All the same colors of Distress Ink that I used for the Popsicle card are being used here. With the exception of the purple, since we're not using the lavender cardstock, we're not using shaded lilac, but I'm using spun sugar, picked raspberry, carved pumpkin, and squeezed lemonade with that gathered twigs for my ice cream cones. Just like the other card, we are gonna create another label exactly like the popsicle card. Um, nothing is different about it at all. I thought the sentiment worked well for both die cut designs. And while I had all these dies out, while I had all the card stuck out and the distress inks out, I thought, why not go ahead and create two cards? I'm a big fan if you already have the supplies out, go ahead and create multiple so you have them on hand and you can just send them out at a moment's notice. I love having cards on hand and not having to make them, especially for an occasion. These would be great just as a just because card, I miss you card, a birthday card, um, whatever it might be. You could use these for all kinds of things. I think with this sentiment especially, um, it works for a lot of different occasions. This card is not going to feature any of the White Blizzard Nouveau Crystal Drops, so I don't have to worry about dry time. Once I have all of my dies in place, I can simply pop my vellum label right over the top or over the center portion of this card. I am going to use a little candied apple for the cherries. I don't know that it showed up all that great. In fact, I think I quit using it um, because I didn't think it added that much color to my cherries. But I love that you can stick the little stem in the cherry and then pop it on your card. And 
I did take a white gel pen and add little highlights to the cherries then. This card I opted not to add white pen detail. A lot of times I will, but this time I kept it really simple and only added those little highlights to my cherries. And of course, here's my label. I did add the Nuva Crystal Drops in white or gloss white to the sides. Again, it kind of gives it that illusion that it's attached with brads. Now I started with one cherry kind of tucked behind my ice cream cone and I decided to go ahead and add another. This card, instead of using the colorful Nouveau Crystal Drops, we're gonna use Gloss White, which is my other favorite, most often used Nouveau Crystal Drop color. Gloss White and White Blizzard are fantastic and a staple in my craft room. It's a true opaque white and so it has this great effect and I love that little scattering of white throughout the card. We'll attach this to a white side fold card base as well. And we just need one additional cherry to top this off. And that will really finish up these two fantastic I Scream, You Scream cards featuring Lawn Fawn stamps and dies. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for these die cut cards featuring Lawn Fawn stamps and dies, a Simon Says stamp stamped background, and lots of fun colors of cardstock. The supplies I used to create both of these cards are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more cards featuring Lawn Fawn dies that you might be interested in. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe for weekly card making and stamping videos, and we'll see you next time.